All right, we got a, a fast food mashup right here. What do you get when you take a Wendy's uh, pretzel bun and add it to a Popeye's chicken sandwich? We're gonna check it out. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. That's interesting. I didn't plan it. My hands went already to the pray position because we're going to pray that this works out uh, as well as it can work out. Uh, Wendy's right here. I went through the drive-thru and ordered uh, two of their returning pretzel buns. They charged me like $2 and change. Uh, and I was holding the bag and they were warm to the touch. Uh, so I was happy about that. Uh, but what I'm going to do, uh, because I just had that, um, what was it again? The everything bun from Burger King mailed to me from a test market and I put that on the uh, Whopper and I got a couple uh, recommendations uh, for some other options. One was take the uh, onion bun from Arby's and put it on a Whopper, things like that. And I thought, hey, this is a uh, new item over at Wendy's. Uh, it is a new bun, and we know that Popeyes never usually mixes it up with the buns. Uh, so we got the bun right here. Here it is, crisscross applesauce. Check it out in the sun. That is a pretzel bun. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the uh, famous famous uh, Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's so famous that on their menu, now they just call it the sandwich. It just says the sandwich. Uh, so let me get this out and show it to you before I kind of uh, make this little uh, Frankenstein mashup right before Halloween. Uh, so here we go. We know what this is all about. This is the uh, chicken sandwich that everyone went crazy for two or three years ago. And it does. I mean, this thing does weigh a ton. Uh, let's see if they hooked me up with a good one. Whoa. All right. So here we go. This is the bun that this one comes on right here. Get it out of the sun there. But holy mackerel. Look at the size of this thing. This thing is a beast. Let's pop the top on this because we're not going to be using it. I gotta save some of that mayonnaise, but um, all right, there you go. That is, <laughs> that's a large piece of chicken. Let's get this sandwich put together. Let's go. Whoo! All right, that fit perfectly. Actually, let me show you one more time. That is the pretzel bun from Wendy's, and this is what we got going on with the chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Like I showed you, this was, uh, what was it again? $4.49. Still, I believe, the king of fast food chicken sandwiches. Burger King can change their chicken sandwich uh, 32 more times. Random number, and it's not going to be this uh, Popeye sandwich. All right, wish me luck. Let's go. What am I going to call this? Is this the uh, pretzel bun uh, sandwich? The pretzel bun classic chicken sandwich? Uh, you know what I called it because you saw the uh, thumbnail and you saw the title. There you go. Upside down. The more you turn me, inside out, and round and round. Shout out Diana Ross and shout out Rat. I'm giving both of them shout outs. Let's go. Let's take a bite. Mayonnaise, thick cut pickles. They only gave me two. The big filet and the pretzel bun. Let's go. Oh. That puts a new paint job on things. Mmm. Whoa. Yeah. When you've had a bunch of these uh, sandwiches from Popeyes, you're used to the flavor, you're used to the bun that you're getting. And you throw a little monkey wrench into things and it's a whole different experience, but I like it. And spoiler alert, where'd I get this from? because you heard me say that I purchased two buns. So I might be doing another video, another uh, fast food mashup with the um, pretzel bun. You never know. You never know. But you're going to know maybe tomorrow. Second bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
It's so different, yet so similar. Mm. All, right. All right, so listen. I love doing things like this. I've always done these little mashups. I think one of my favorite ones, I think, was it the um, cheddar bites? Some type of cheddar bite, some type of fried uh, side from Burger King. I threw that onto a burger, and I think I did that five or six years ago. I've been doing these uh, for so long. Uh, that's why I see these TikTok videos with people like doing things that I have done, and I know you have done hundreds of times, if not thousands of times in our lives. And just because it's on uh, TikTok, they go viral and people are like, yeah, who would have ever thought to do that? Me and you probably. So many people have thought to do that uh, before TikTok was a thing. I digress. That was a really good sandwich. I think it actually elevates it a little bit more. Does it make it better? Maybe. That's what elevate means. Uh, but it's a whole different experience because you have to have that kind of a bite through that you get with that uh, bun, which I like. Getting that little bit of flavor of pretzel. It's not something where you're going to say like, oh, I'm eating a pretzel. There's no salt on it. It's nothing like that. Uh, but it is a different texture. It is a little different taste. And I think it works well with a uh, chicken sandwich. They actually offer it over at Wendy's on a chicken sandwich. Uh, so yeah, if I had to give it a rating from 1 to 100, I think I'd give like the OG chicken sandwich from uh, Popeye's like a 95. I think that's what I did back in the day. Um, probably give that right around a 92, 93. I think I might prefer the uh, OG better because I'm used to it and my mind goes there uh, when I think of a Popeye sandwich. But that was a great mix up, a great mashup. Uh, and I'm happy I tried it. So uh, yeah, there you go. Another review in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word on my channel out to the masses. In closing, um, is this something you would do? Is your Popeyes close to your uh, Wendy's? If it is, go there and get one. I think they charge me a dollar, like I said, and just kind of mix things up a little bit. Everything else gets a little stale sometimes, and uh, we got to mix it up. It is what it is. Life is more fun when you take some chances. Uh, so yeah, thank me so much, and uh, we'll see you soon with some more reviews. Bye.